So this is a picture of a horse's hock with a swelling here and also a swelling here which we call a bog spavin and it's due to a thing called OCD. There's a little fragment of bone just floating in space just there which we treat with arthroscopic surgery. So you're going to see the surgery but basically this is the bones. The fragment's going to be coming off the bottom of the tibia which is just there and we're going to be entering it over the top of this ridge which is called the trochlear ridge. So our camera's going to be going in and looking at that part there. So when we go over the top of the trochlear ridge, which is there, a little look around, that's all just soft tissue, so that's all normal, that's the bone. Looking across there, and there's the fragment that we're going to take out. You can see it's floating loose in space, um, and it's not really on a weight-bearing surface, so they don't really do much damage to the hock. Uh, but because they're loose and floating about, they cause the hock to swell up and cause mild, usually mild to moderate lameness at high speed in racehorses um, and perhaps some low grade lameness in sport horses that may become worse uh, over the course of years because it sets up a very low grade arthritis. So you can see that one there, that's unusual, that one's absolutely wiggling in the breeze. So we're going to our grabbers, which are probably, everything looks big because it's close. But those grabbers are probably about the size of your little finger. So we take out that fragment, and then it'll be sitting in a fracture bed, which will be a little bit crumbly. So we go in with our curette, and we take that out as well. Horse bones like concrete, so this curette, you just can't over curette them, because that curette isn't sharp enough. And so any stuff that comes away needs to come away. So we take that all out. Um, to a position where we can grab it with our grabbers, which are called rongeurs. I'm trying not to take it right off, otherwise it just floats off in space. The whole time we're doing this surgery, it's being irrigated with uh, saline fluid. You can see that every night again a bit of blood goes past in the fluid. So we take that bit out, and then we're left with that credit fracture bread. Job's good. We'll start with radiograph, shows a little different where it's been. Um, and these horses do really, really, really well. It's a very um, rewarding surgery to do because they pretty much all kick on.